Hi, my name is Dr. Brian Curtis, and I'm one of the paleontologists here at Fossil Crates. And today I'm here to talk to you about one of my favorite animals. In fact, it may be my very favorite dinosaur, Supersaurus vivian A. Vivian's super lizard. It's the longest dinosaur we've ever discovered. Coming in, it's somewhere between 128 and 140 feet long. It has the longest shoulder blades of any dinosaur ever discovered, around eight feet long. It has the longest neck bone ever discovered. And that neck bone is five feet or so in length, a crazy large neck bone. Then you have a number of other neck bones we've discovered, all of which individually would be pretty much the longest ones ever discovered, but they're much farther forward in the neck. Uh, we also have some backbones, one of the tallest backbones ever discovered of any animal. And then the tail it has the tallest, deepest tail. Uh, the pelvis is the size of a small car once you put muscles and flesh all over it. It is absolutely a gigantic animal. It would take a world-class sprinter four full seconds to run from the tip of the tail to the tip of its snout. It's longer than three of the big yellow school buses parked nose to tail. It's longer than a couple of semi-trailers backed up. We're talking about a gigantically long animal. Uh, one of the reasons it's so long is its neck. It has at least 15 and probably 16 neck bones of extremely long length. But it also has a really long tail, the longest tail of any animal that's ever lived. And that tail ends in a whip. And that whip would have been very dangerous if you were a predator. If that hit you across the eyes, you would be blinded. The reality is you'd probably have your skull broken. A fully adult Supersaurus didn't have much to worry about, as predators of its day couldn't even reach its belly. The champ alive today is the blue whale, which the record-setting specimens around 110 feet long. A pregnant, pregnant blue whale weighs upwards of almost 200 tons. Supersaurus lived around 145 to 150 million years ago. Though originally found in Colorado, the next two specimens were found in Wyoming. Uh, the animal itself ate plants, and it would have been quite the spectacle to behold. I look forward to sharing more about Supersaurus in a series of videos, as well as going into some of the details of the material, the quarry map. Uh, we have a lot of information on this magnificent beast. So I'm Dr. Brian Curtis from Fossil Crate saying thank you kindly. Hope you enjoyed this short message on Supersaurus. Adios.